outscoring them 52 to 20. You heard fits at the end of the broadcast. Last 15 minutes of the game, Warriors outscored the Clippers 52 to 20. And we thought it was over. Warriors looked dead in the water, and they get a big time victory to improve the three and two on the seven game homestand. The Hall of Famer Chris Mullen, NBA champ Darrell Wright, Bonte Hill. We will break this game down. Steph Curry points, 11 assists, and nine three pointers after scoring 13 Wednesday night. Fellas, Mully, Darrell, Steph was cooking. Steph was definitely cooking. He put the team on his back again. That bench gave him so much energy. They were scrappy. Those guys had the will to win, and they beat a great Clippers team. I don't know if you young guys have ever seen the movie Tommy Boy. Oh, yeah. yeah I see Tommy Boy. Come on. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that young, Mully. Come on. That was awesome. That performance was awesome. Yes, it definitely <laughs> was. It felt, I know there's no fans in the stands. It felt yeah. like the home court came right. alive. No yep. doubt. And more importantly, Steph Curry came alive, making dynamic shots. All night. He never really had a lot of space, but he made them count. He made the Clippers pay. Assisting. No, he was playmaking, oh. shot making, and he got a lot of help from the bench. A lot of help he from did. his friends tonight, Darrell. Yep. Definitely did, man. So it was good to see these guys come out there, get a great win, man. This is something they could really, really build on moving forward. Hey, and this run started, as I said, 315 left in the third quarter. Basemore getting in there. Mulder getting in there. We saw Damian Lee a little bit later. Looney and Pascal. They hit big time shots to get back into the game. And Steph started the fourth quarter, which is a little strange, right? Steph using fit sits the first five to six minutes minutes of the fourth quarter he started it came out about a minute or two into it and then Damian Lee Pascal and Wanamaker will break him down in just a second here but big time shots to give the Warriors a lead that was a 34 to 6 run to give the Warriors a 97 to 91 lead and the Clippers all of a sudden were like wait a minute here we thought we were gonna have a nice Friday night chill on the bench in the fourth quarter uh-uh-uh Kawhi and Paul George had to come back but it was too little too late as the Warriors go on a big time run and that's probably the biggest win of the season well, really impressive and very similar to the second game of the Portland series, right? They made some adjustments. Uh, offensively, Steph was really aggressive. And then in that last 15 minutes, he got help from everybody. Yes. And what was impressive was when Steph got doubled, when he got rid of the ball, it wasn't always the first shot. Maybe it was another pass. And I thought defensively they hung in there. They yep. flipped the script, basically, yes, from, no from, uh, from half to half. Just a really impressive win. And it, these wins... This makes you a playoff team. Yes, no these are all the, the Portland, the Clippers, two you know, teams we figure are going to be in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Warriors came right back at them. Darrell, that bench, 42 to 20, they outscored the Clippers bench, and it started with Pascal. And then we're going to look at crunch time here, Darrell. Break this one down. Brad Wanamaker signed over from the Boston Celtics. The stats don't always look pretty, right? He's not a player who's going to fill out the box score. But two huge threes here, Darrell, to give that Warriors a six-point lead, and they needed this shot in the arm from Wanamaker here. Two huge threes. He played big tonight. He was playmaking. He knocked down those two threes, gave the Warriors that confidence down the stretch. And, man, you could depend on this guy going moving forward. I know he's a great player. I know a lot of guys, are, a lot of people are waiting for him to, you know, really come out. And I think tonight he really showed what he can do. Eight points, five rebounds, four assists, Mully. By far, Brad Wanamaker's best performance as a warrior, but we saw him do this with the Boston Celtics. And you know what? He's a very steady, poised young man, waits for his opportunities, and tonight he stepped up big time. And then Curry closed the show. Yes. Curry's a special. I mean, we're spoiled with Steph Curry, but look, they were dead. I thought, man, Steph Curry's not going to play in the fourth quarter. He's not going to get that dirty burger, and he closed the show here. Even Andrew Wiggins playing big again, another... Good night for Andrew Wiggins, Darrell. I thought Wiggs did a great job on a defensive end. He really took a lot of pride in his defense. He made it hard on Kawhi Leonard every time he guarded him. And then when he got on the offensive end, he went right at him, just like they would on the other end. So a lot of respect for Wiggs tonight for going out there, hitting big shots, and getting stops on the other end. We, we talked about a pregame. He's been playing great basketball. Yep. I thought tonight he guarded Kawhi very well straight up. Offensively, he was a force all night long. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, Steve Kerr, kept Steph in to start the fourth quarter, right, and was really uh, spotting his minutes, but not too long. Right. So we, we were surprised he would stay in there. Mm -hmm. but the game was in the balance, and that's when they won it. The start of that fourth quarter, they built sure. that six-point lead and never looked back. And the last clip there we saw, the excitement from Curry, the excitement from Damian Lee. They really wanted to win this game. And as you mentioned, for this young roster, this is big going forward. I know it's an early season win, but you get to split against the Clippers at the way this game started. You lose a tough one Wednesday night. You're down 22. Curry closes the show. But all those other guys, Damian Lee, Mulder, Durrell, what does it mean for those youngsters coming off the bench and contributing to a win like this? This right here was a team win. You know, I think everybody that checked in the game tonight played well. 
and they leaned on each other. The starters leaned on the bench, and the bench leaned on the starters to come close the game. So when you guys get chemistry like that and you close games out like that against a good team, those are these are the best wins ever, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, Steph Curry showed why he's an MVP in this league. Yeah. Right? He was dominant all, all night long, but you can't win the game by yourself. Right. And I thought tonight, Steve Kerr went to a different lineup. Right. He threw Michael Mulder, Damian Lee right. into the game for offense, and in turn, they, they compete on the defensive end. But look at these numbers. Right. And I thought, again, look, he's the number one guy in the scout report. The Clippers <laughs> are a great defensive team. Mm -hmm. Just a few inches, and he made them pay. They were not easy shots he no. made. Nine for 14 from three. They were, much of them were contested shots. And he made them pay. Man, here, here Batum goes over the top. He still contested, but he knocked it down. Here, two guys right here, just a, right. a small window. A contest here by Beverly. He's making them pay, man. Just, just a, a little second and a little inch. These, these are tough shots, but he was in rhythm. And when they overplayed the three-point shot, he got to the uh, basket. They're up five and zero oh when Ster Steph Curry scores over 30 points. I didn't know if it was going to happen, but he <laughs> made it happen tonight. And the Warriors are defeated. He Maybe that's what he needs to average here as we talk about our storylines. Yeah, definitely made it happen. I think what he did, like we talked in the pregame, he hunted those shots, so he kept his rhythm going, he kept that defense off balance, and he made a lot of tough shots to close the game. And, you know, he, Steph did what Steph does. I mean, the finishes at the basket, Malik, so impressive. It's, this was an impressive win on a lot of levels. You know, give, give a lot of credit to the players, of course. But Steve Kerr's got to be really proud of them. Right. Because we were sitting there saying, it feels like they're down 25. Exactly. Yeah. But it yep. was 12 and 14, mm -hmm. and they made their spurt where they go 52 to 20. 52 to 20. I mean, that, that's an incredible that's a, run right there. And it's incredible that they scored over 110 and a half. We talked about that in the pregame. Who talked Here's about that? Second, uh, you did, Molly. You called it, Molly. I got to get a whole credit. I was looking at them crazy like, wait, you think they're going to score over 110? I'm thinking 105, 107. But they get over 110 and a half. So if you bet the over Durrell, you cash that ticket. They score 115 by going on that 52 to 20 run to close the show. Molly well, was right. You know, <laughs> you got to outscore those guys. You know, last game, it was an ugly game. It was more of a defensive game. Uh, the Clippers came out kind of hot, and the Warriors had to respond. You know, being down 22 early, they had to respond and score a lot of points. You got to outscore them sometimes. Yep. Opportunity knocks, be ready to answer the bell. The Warriors, the Clippers put their guard down. Sure did. And the Warriors took full advantage of that. Sure. You know what underrated uh, move uh, play in that game was Kent Bazemore getting that reversal on the moving yes. screen. Oh, the yeah. fire he Sorry, showed yes. on that play when he was down 22 here. We'll get a reaction from the head coach of the Warriors. You know he is happy tonight. That man is Steve Kerr. We'll hear from him on the other side right here. On